so hello everyone welcome to this new session okay so in the last session we have discussed with one important concept of stokes theorem okay so today in this uh, uh, session this is the last session of this module okay so we are going to solve uh, one problem related to the current density which we have found out through the ampere's law okay that is the relation of del cross h is equal to j so one problem uh, with respect to that we are going to solve and after that one problem we are uh, we are solving uh, with respect to stokes theorem which we have discussed in the last session okay so two problems in this session so the first problem here is calculate the value of current density okay in the three sub questions they are mentioned here that is in rectangular coordinate system at point p a of 2 comma 3 comma 4 this represents the values of x y z okay Uh, with the given h quantity that is uh, h is equal to x square z a by vector minus y square x a z vector okay also in ccs that is cylindrical coordinate system the value of pb at pb is equal to 1.5 90 degrees 0.5 in cylindrical this is rho phi z okay the value of h they have given 2 by rho cos 0.25 into a phi vector uh, uh, 0.25 into a rho vector in spherical coordinate system at point pc is equal to 2 30 degree 20 degree that is r theta and phi okay and then the value of h they have mentioned it as 1 by sin theta into a, a theta vector okay so now for the first sub question uh, we know that the relationship between the curl of h and uh, j is given as uh, del cross h is equal to j now first substitute del cross h in rectangular coordinate system okay that is the determinant we need to be taking that is in the first row ax ay az do by do x do by do y do by do z zero since uh, we don't have any ax vector so if you don't have any ax vector its coefficient is zero so that's why you are taking zero and an ay vector's coefficient is uh, x square z i have written it and az vector's coefficient is minus y square x so i have written it so again take the simple determinant that is that is first we need to be uh, eliminating the first row and first column and checking the these four elements and cross multiplying it that is do by do y of this this is determinant you might be knowing this how to solve this do by do y into y square x minus do by do z into x square z okay into ax vector minus do by do x of minus y square x Minus two by two z into zero. It is zero, so I am not writing it again. Into a by vector plus the the first row and the third column are ne neglected. Two by two z two by two x of x square z. Two by two into zero is zero, so this into a z vector. Okay. So now solve this. Uh, take the uh, partial differentiation. That is two by two y of minus y square. So x is constant. So that's why. Uh, part differentiation of minus y square is minus 2y so since we have x here minus 2xy minus do by do z of x square z so we need to be differentiating only with respect to z keeping x square constant so the differentiation of z is 1 so minus x square ax okay so do by do x of uh, y square x so again we need to differentiate only with respect to x keeping y square constant differentiation of x with respect to x is 1 So we have minus of minus y square that is plus y square a y vector two by two x of x square z. So here again uh, differentiation of x square is two x and z is constant so plus two x z into a z vector. Okay, this so this is the value of uh, current density. So here there this is not the solution. So also they have given at point two comma three comma four that is x y z. So whatever we got we have answer which we have got here. So in place of x, y, and z, we need to be substituting the values of two, three, and four, and the final answer which we get, we need to write that. Okay. So don't forget to write the unit of j, that is amperes per meter square. The unit is very very important for all the problems. The final unit which you write that is very very important. The silly marks if you have written the answer and if the evaluator is uh, getting and what to say. If your paper is absolutely correct with all the correct answers and neatly presented, they would be deducting the mi minor marks. Okay, that is the simple, simple silly mistakes, and all they would be checking. And this is the one silly mistake that is we need to be writing the unit of all the problems. Okay, so yeah, let's substitute the values and let's get the answer. 
सो दैट इज जे ऑफ टू कॉमा थ्री कॉमा फोर दैट इज माइनस टू एक्स वाई राइट सो माइनस टू इंटू थ्री इंटू टू माइनस फोर ओके एक्स स्क्वेर इज टू स्क्वेर सो माइनस फोर ए एक्स वैक्टर प्लस वाई स्क्वेर सैट इज थ्री स्क्वेर इज नाइन नाइन ए वाई वैक्टर प्लस टू एक्स जेड सो टू इंटू टू इंटू फोर ए जेड वैक्टर सो देर फॉर अ फाइनल वैल्यू ऑफ जे इज टू इंटू थ्री इंटू टू दैट इज ट्वेल्व माइनस ट्वेल्व माइनस फोर इज माइनस सिक्सटीन ए एक्स प्लस नाइन ए वाई प्लस सिक्सटीन ए जेड ओके सो दिस इज द फाइनल आंसर ऑफ जे एम्पियर्स पर मीटर स्क्वेर ओके सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट सब क्वेश्चन सो नाउ लेट्स गेट टू द सेकेंड सब क्वेश्चन सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट सब क्वेश्चन ओके सो हियर नाउ इन दिस केस वी नीड टू सब्सिट्यूट द वैल्यू ऑफ वी नीड टू पुट डेल क्रॉस एच इन सिलिंड्रिकल कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम ओके सो आई हैव नॉट गिवन दैट सो दिस इज द फॉर्मुला यू कैन नोट इट डाउन ओके आई टोल्ड दैट आई वुड बी गिविंग यू राइट डेल क्रॉस एच इन सिलिंड्रिकल कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम इज गिवन लाइक दिस डिटर्मिनेंट फॉर्म दैट इज इन द फर्स्ट रो वी नीड टू बी राइटिंग इट एज ए रो बाय रो सेकेंड एलिमेंट ए फाइव थर्ड एलिमेंट ए जेड इन द सेकेंड सेकेंड रो Again, do by do row, do by do five, do by do z, and again in third row that is that is the coefficients that is h row, okay, and here it is row h five, okay, and this is h z, okay. So here in place of h five, it is not only h five, it is row h five, okay. So since here we don't have any h five term in this question, since they are given only a row vector, so this term and this term both are zero, so that's why I've written it as zero, okay. So now for this let's take the determinant. Okay, that is uh, d two multiplication zero zero. So this would be zero minus zero into uh, a row by row minus again these two rows are take uh, these two are neglected. So zero minus row by row z of two by row cos zero point two five. Since we don't have any z term here, so this is again zero into a five vector plus. Zero minus that is uh, do by do row into zero minus of do by do phi of this term. So here we have this phi term, so we can uh, differentiate this. So uh, here with respect to phi, okay. So that's why this uh, two by row is constant, okay. Two by row into two by row into cos zero point two phi. That's its differentiation of cos is minus sine zero point two phi. Into a z vector, okay. So now solve this. That is j is equal to so this is zero, this is zero, and here the answer we are getting is minus into minus is plus, and write this two by row first into sine zero point two five a cap z amperes per meter square. Okay. So this is the answer. So now for this let's uh, substitute that is j of 1.5 comma 90 comma 0.5 right that is equal to 2 by rho that is value of rho here is 1.5 into sine of 0.25 that is 0.2 into 90 okay so that is 2 by 1.5 that is if you solve it you will be getting 1.33 into sine of 0.2 into 90 that is sine of 18 degree okay so that is 1.33 into sin 18 in the calculator. If you take the answer value, we are getting it as 0.309. So our final value of J here is 0.41 AZ amperes per meter square. So this is our value of J in case of the second sub question. So now let's take down the third sub question quickly. So this is the third sub question, and in spherical coordinate system. This way we need to be representing the determinant. Okay, so this is the formula. It is del cross h in the first row, a r vector divided by r square sine theta. Second element is a theta vector divided by r sine theta. Third is a phi vector divided by r. In the second column again d d do by do r, do by do theta, do by do phi, zero. So here we don't since in the in the question they have not given since they have given only a theta term that is the coefficient of d d theta we need to be writing that is. Not d theta. We need, we need to be representing it as r by sine theta. Okay. Here in place of h theta, that is r by sine theta. Here in place of h r, that is zero. And here in place of 
H5 okay it is represented as R sin theta H5 okay since there is no H5 term so this whole term would be 0 so that's why I have written it as 0 so now for this let's uh, apply the determinant and try to solve it so that is dou by dou theta of 0 is 0 dou by dou phi of R sin R by sin theta again no phi term so 0 minus 0 into a r by r square sin theta minus again dou by dou r of into 0 is 0 dou by dou phi is 0 is 0 again that is a theta divided by r into sin theta plus dou by dou r of r by sin theta that is r we need to be uh, uh, differentiating r so that's why the answer is 1 by sin theta into dou by dou theta of dou by dou theta of 0 minus 0 into a theta by r ok so these two terms are 0 so our final answer for j we are getting it as 1 by sin theta into a theta by r ok so now here in place of uh, j we need to be substituting j of 2 comma 30 comma 20 degree that is equal to 1 by 1 by we have here r r sin theta so that's why r value is 2 sin theta value is 30 degree okay so that is if we solve this 1 by 2 into sin 30 is 1 by 2 okay so if we cancel this our answer we are getting it as j is equal to 1 into a 5 amperes per meter square okay so this is our answer for the third sub question so this was one problem here so here let's see one more problem okay that is related to stokes theorem so this is the next question so the question is evaluate both sides of stokes theorem for field h is equal to 6xy ax vector minus 3y square ay vector amperes per meter and the rectangular path okay so they are mentioned here it has rectangular path so we need to be knowing that we need to be uh, using the rectangular coordinate system okay uh, while solving this problem so around the region where x lies between 2 and 5 and y lies between minus 1 and 1 and z is equal to 0 and they have given one condition that let the positive direction of ds be a cap z vector okay so they have uh, mentioned that uh, the, the direction of ds be a cap z vector okay so, that, so that's an hint here in this solving the problem uh, so they have uh, told us to evaluate both sides of stokes theorem okay First write the Stokes theorem for uh, formula which we have seen that is line integral of h dot dl is equal to surface integral of del cross h dot ds ok so this is the related Stokes theorem uh, rela uh, this, uh, formula right so now let us solve LHS and RHS one by one so that the answer we are getting it as same you need to get LHS is equal to RHS so first RHS let us solve that is del cross h dot ds ok ok first uh, find del cross h ok in uh, rectangular coordinate system substitute del cross h ok that is del cross h is equal to determinant of ok so this is the formula I have written here so del cross h is equal to Again write the determinant AX, AY, AZ, dou by dou X, dou by dou Y, dou by dou Z. In place of DX they have given 6XY and in place of DY they have given minus 3Y square and DZ they have not mentioned it so it is 0 is equal to J. Okay. So del cross H is equal to, so this J is not required, we, uh, we required only del cross H in this uh, equation right. So that's why then take the determinant here dou by dou i into 0 that is 0 minus dou by dou z of this term that is we don't have any z term so this is again 0 a cap x vector minus these two these two columns are neglected dou by dou x into 0 is 0 dou by dou z of 6xy no z term that is again 0 a cap y vector so minus so this is plus now dou by dou x of minus 3y square is 0 minus dou by dou y of 6xy so here we have y term so with respect to y differentiate that is 6x 
into a z vector so our final answer for del cross h we are getting it as minus 6 x a z vector ok so now uh, substitute this uh, del cross h in the required equation that is surface integral of del cross h that is 6 x a z vector and the limits we need to substitute for x and y they have given here that is uh, for x it is 2 to 5 and for y it is minus 1 to 1 ok dot so now in place of uh, dz ds uh, they have given their positive direction of az vector in the question right so we need to replace ds by az into dx dy since we have taken the limits of x and y so dx dy ok so here we know that az dot az is 1 so that is uh, take this minus 6 constant outside 2 to 5 minus 1 to 1 so az uh, dot az is 1 so x into dx into dy ok so solve it separately that is minus 6 into 2 to 5 of x dx and minus 1 to 1 of dy ok so that is equal to minus 6 into integration of x is x square by 2 with respect to dx the limits are from 2 to 5 and integration of dy is y with the limits of minus 1 to 1 substitute the limits that is a upper limit that is 5 square by 2 minus 2 square by 2 ok into uh, my, uh, limits of y that is 1 minus of minus 1 that is 1 plus 1 that is 2 ok so that is minus 6 into 5 square by 2 is 25 by 2 and 1 2 and 1 square will be cancelled minus 2 into 2 ok that's our answer is minus 6 into so 25 minus 4 by 2 into 2 so this 2 2 gets cancelled so our answer is minus 6 into so i'm solving it here now 25 minus 4 is 21 so our answer is minus 126 21 6 are 126 minus 126 amperes okay since uh, line integral of uh, h dot dl is equal to i right generally so that's why we are we need to be taking the unit as amperes so this is the answer for RHS we are solved here right now. So now let's uh, compute the value of LHS. Okay, we need to be getting the same answer one, minus 126 ampere. Okay, so now let's solve for LHS. So here uh, I have written few of the terms. Okay, so now let's me, let me explain this what I have written. So LHS we need to be uh, computing now line integral of H dot DL, right? But in order to uh, Solve for line integral of h dot dl. We don't have a particular set of limits. Okay, for that first to draw an uh, surface that is a rectangular path they have mentioned. So draw one rectangle. Okay, so rectangle has four sides. So according to that, uh, for in the four vertices, uh, name it as a, b, c, d. And also in the question they have given the, the h as a six x y a x and six uh, minus three y square a y. So draw two directions. That is in place of uh, the length uh, write the term as uh, minus 3y square which is moving in this direction okay and this direction here they are moving in clockwise uh, uh, what to say clockwise direction and here 6xy plus 6xy in in place of width this represents the x direction and this represents the y direction it is moving clockwise okay so now when it moves clockwise when it comes to this direction this direction and this direction are opposite so this minus 3y square would be plus 3y square when it comes to the lower side Okay, when it comes to the opposite side and here same thing this plus 6xy when it's uh, seen from the opposite side it is minus 6xy okay and the coordinates are named as for a 2 comma minus 1 okay and here it is 2 comma 1 okay so this they have taken it for uh, uh, x direction that is 2 comma 1 is more from y limit uh, that is from minus 1 to 1 so 1 is 2 comma minus 1 1 is 2 comma 1 Similarly, for this direction, 2 comma 1 and 5 comma 1. For this direction, it is uh, 5 and 5 are common for both things. And minus 1 and 1 are varied. And here, in this case, minus 1, minus 1 is common. So, 5 and 2. Okay. So, now using this, uh, split the limits and try to solve it. That is, line integral of h dot dl is equal to, first, a to b. That is, uh, take the limits which are not repeated okay here 2 and 2 are common so neglect that so the rest of the numbers are from a to b minus 1 and 1 so minus 1 to 1 minus 3y square 
into dy so the direction here is with respect to y so dy plus b to c that is 1 and 1 are common so the other limits are 2 to 5 so 2 to 5 6xy dx plus here again 5 and 5 are common so 1 to minus 1 minus 3y square into dy okay plus 5 to 2 here again minus 1 is common so 5 to 2 6xy dx okay so now solve this that is take minus 3 common okay and the integration of y square is y cube by 3 okay and y cube by 3 for that apply upper limit minus lower limit that is 1 cube by 3 minus of minus 1 cube by 3 okay plus 6y since it is respect to x so y 6 and y are taken outside into and the differential integration of x is x square by 2 upper limit is 5 5 square by 2 minus lower limit is 2 2 square by 2 minus 3 into so y square dy that is y cube by 3 upper limit is minus 1 cube by 3 minus lower limit is plus 1 cube by 3 okay plus again 6y cot take it common here outside integral since it's with respect to x so 6y into x dx is x square by 2 so upper limit is 2 square by 2 minus 5 square by 2 okay now 3 into 1 cube by 3 is 1 by 3 and minus 1 cube is minus 1 and minus into minus is plus so plus 1 by 3 okay plus 6y into minus 5 square is plus 25 so 25 by 2 into 2 minus 3 into minus 1 by 3 minus 1 by 3 since minus 1 whole cube is minus 1 okay plus 6y into 2 minus 25 by 2 okay so now we need to solve this so here 1 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 3 that is 1 plus 1 by 3 so the 3 and 3 would be getting cancelled and we have here 1 plus 1 is 2 so minus 2 plus again this is 25 minus 4 by 2 so 2 1s are 2 3s are and 25 minus 4 is 21 and 21 25 minus 4 is 21 so 21 into 3 is 63 so our answer is plus 63 and we have y here so plus 63 y again here it is minus 1 minus 1 by 3 3 3 would be getting cancelled okay and minus 1 into minus 1 is minus 2 and here we have minus outside so it would be plus 2 okay and minus 63 y okay since uh, it is uh, 4 minus 25 by 2 2 1s are 2 3s are so 3 into 2 minus 25 is minus 4 minus 25 is minus 21 into 3 is minus 63 y okay so this two gets cancelled so our answer is plus 63 y minus 63 y but uh, you might be saying that the answer here is this would be zero right so this would not be zero because we need to now substitute the limits which have taken uh, for y that is minus 1 to 1 right so that is why for one value we need to be taking for first y value take it as minus 1 minus 63 into the second value take it as the other limit that is 1 okay so that's why 63 into minus 1 is minus 63 minus 63 into minus 63 into 1 is again minus 63 so minus 63 minus 63 the answer we are getting it is minus 126 amps so we can say that LHS is equal to RHS hence proved so this is the solution for this problem okay so please refer it down this is the LHS we have solved RHS we have solved already so these were the very very important problems okay so from this we are uh, concluding this module this is the end of module 3 okay so some so some the next session we are going to start with module 4 and we are left with only two modules we are going to cover it in a quick amount of time so please uh, be updated in this channel like share subscribe and uh, refer our playlist okay we have solved all the uh, rest of the modules and you can refer our playlist and also model question paper solutions are provided it, it might be appearing on the right of your screen now please verify it
सो दिस इज आवर प्लेलिस्ट सो दैट्स ऑल प्लीज लाइक शेयर सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू